What we have here is the Granite Model 465 Nitrogen Inflation System. This is a nice tool right here, made in the good old United States of America, so you know it's good stuff. Now what we're going to do with this tool is we're going to put nitrogen in tires. Now what's neat about this machine, we can do one tire by itself, two tires, three tires, even four tires all at one time. We can take a tire that just has no air in it and put nitrogen, or we can actually take the air, or nitrogen, out of a tire and put it back in without ever taking it off the car. This thing is fantastic. It is really simple to use. So let's get to it. To get this operation going, the first thing we have to do is uh, plug it in. So just, uh, you know, your regular old electric cord from the shop will do the trick. And we have to put it in to an air source. Now what this does is it actually takes shop air, pulls the nitrogen out of it, and, and fills the tires with that. So we just uh, hook up our uh, disconnect here. Quick disconnect uh, airline and uh, make sure the valve is turned on. Now for the next step. The inflation system has four hoses so we can do four tires at once. It's pretty simple. You just uh, put that right on your uh, valve stem and make sure it's uh, locked on good and repeat for all four tires. If you don't know your tire pressure uh, specification, you're going to find that information on the driver's door jam of the vehicle. So in fact, here it tells us the original tire size of the vehicle, and it gives us our cold inflation pressure. See, 32 psi front, 35 in the rear. Now, this is very important. You will find this information either here, or you'll find it in your owner's manual. Do not use the side of the tire to tell you what pressure it should be. The information written on the tire is the maximum pressure allowed, not the recommended tire pressure for the vehicle. Once I have all four hoses connected to my vehicle's tires, I want to recycle. So what I'm going to do is actually pull the air out of the tires right now and replace that with nitrogen and it's pretty simple. Now, what I'm going to do is press my up or my plus or minus button depending on how much tire pressure I need. Now this vehicle takes 32 pounds in the front and 35 in the rear. I'm going to go ahead and put in 32 all the way around right now and then show you how to add the extra a little bit later. And one thing I found with this machine that it seems to be about one PSI off of what this will tell you to what the car actually wants to read. So I like to add one additional PSI. So I want it at 32, so I'm going to put it at 33. Then, since I'm going to be pulling the air out of the tire and putting nitrogen back in, I'm going to hit this recycle button. I want to hit the fill, turn the lever to fill, and let it do its thing. As you can see, the tire pressure is getting lower. It takes it down to about five pounds. And it starts bringing it back up. Does it automatically. You don't have to do anything but press a few buttons. This will do it on all four tires. When we have reached our uh, preset tire inflation pressure, it will beep and flash end. All of my tires right now are filled to 33 PSI. I need to make my rear tires 35. So, I need to remove 
the front two hoses so I can just add nitrogen to the rear. Now I'm going to inflate my rear tires to 35 PSI. This would be the procedure if we just want to add nitrogen to a tire or we're just going to fill up a tire completely from empty and we're not going to suck any air out of it. So with the rear two tire hoses connected, I'm going to bring it up to 35, but like I said, this thing always seems to be about a pound off, um, so I'm going to say 36. Then I want to make sure my valve here is turned on to fill, and I want to hit this button. That is my button that allows me to just fill a tire. So I press that, and what it's going to do is put in the nitrogen and we'll be done. When we're all finished, make sure that we turn the lever from fill to stop. We want to unplug the machine. Make sure that the valve for the air is shut off and remove the air hose. Now wrap up the hoses and put everything away. Okay, let's see how we did. Ah, 33 in the front, 35 in the rear. Wait, you might say, no, that's not right. Well, it is and it isn't. What I did is I rotated the tires today and I haven't reset the TPS monitor system yet. So that way, all of them are reading in the correct position. That is another lesson for another day. So right now, what's showing here on the front of the car is really the back. Once I reset that, they'll show in the correct positions. As you can see, the branded model 465 is a piece of cake to use. It's just a couple of buttons, some air hoses, an electrical plug, and a, you know, a lever. It's not hard to use at all. Piece of cake, one of the simplest pieces of equipment that we have. Now, the scientific process of how it takes air, pulls the nitrogen out of it, and just puts the nitrogen in the tire, now that's pretty complicated. I'm not a scientist, but if you're interested, I'm sure there's all kinds of information out there on how that process actually works. But our car's got nitrogen in the tire, we're ready to go. Have a good day.